Emily and today I am answering some of your questions. I had you guys ask me some questions on Instagram so follow me there if you want to ask questions next time. Some of the questions on Instagram were a little repetitive and like what's your baby color? What's your baby animal? Like you know typical Q&A questions. I wanted them to be a little more interesting so I posted a YouTube video asking for questions and I got some more. So we're gonna answer them. How basic. You have a Starbucks and an iPhone. Oh, I can't believe you. Okay, I hate when there's Q&A videos with a clickbait title and then you click on the video and they answer that question for like five seconds at the end of the video. And the title isn't even true. It's like, I almost died and like actually they broke their nail or something. I don't wanna be one of those YouTubers so I'm answering that question first. Okay, so the little clickbait deal is, have you ever been bullied because of YouTube? I'm actually really fortunate. I've never been straight out bullied for YouTube. I've heard about some snarky comments people have made behind my back but I don't really care. I mean, you're working at McDonald's and I'm making money by filming videos and doing what I love, so I don't think there's any competition here. You should not be saying anything about me. But overall, people come up to me all the time in school or wherever tell me they love my videos and they think it's really cool, so no, I haven't really been bullied. But I realize that I am really fortunate. There are a lot of YouTubers who are bullied daily for their videos. Actually, I found this one girl recently. Her YouTube name is Keegan Action. And the video I saw was her talking about how she's taking a break from YouTube for a while. In her video she explained how YouTube has really messed up her life at school and how badly she has been bullied just for putting herself out there on the internet. And it's hard because she loves YouTube so much and it has become this thing that she feels like she needs to hide. I get where she's coming from because I love YouTube so much and if people were constantly criticizing me and making me feel bad about doing something I care so much about, it would be hard for me to keep up that passion and not let people's words get to me. People in high school like to talk about other people. They like to find the newest gossip and put other people down to feel better about themselves. If you haven't seen Keegan's videos, be sure to go check them out because she deserves a ton of love and support so much positive energy. People can be really mean and no one deserves to go through that. Anyway, now that I've gone through my little rant, we'll move on to the next question, which will hopefully be a little more lighthearted. It is, you discover that your one-year-old baby isn't actually yours because there was a mix-up at the hospital. Would you exchange the baby to correct the mistake or keep it? Okay, okay, maybe this actually isn't more lighthearted, but whatever. <laughs> I read this question and it bothered me so much. I talked to my boyfriend about it. We kind of came to the conclusion that the baby's only one year old, so I'd probably switch back the baby to get my actual child. Think about it, it's a year versus the rest of their life, so I would totally take back my baby. But if the baby was like five years old, I'd probably keep the switched one just because that's so much life and raising you've already done to this kid. You can't just get rid of them. That would be terrible though. Like, mix-ups in the hospital is the worst thing I've ever heard of. The next question is, have you ever met a fan in public? Okay, kind of weird, but I actually have it. I know some other YouTubers who have, like, under 10,000 subscribers and have met a bunch of fans. I never have. But when I posted my clothing haul video, I got a bunch of comments of people saying they saw me at the mall and were too afraid to come up and say hi. Maybe I look really intimidating or something and people don't want to talk to me. I don't know what I did. Okay, but if you ever see me in public, please come say hi to me because I want to talk to you guys. I want to take selfies with you guys. I sound so basic, but I just really want to meet you guys. I think that would be so cool. I probably won't bite you, so it's good. Do you play Pokemon Go? If so, what level in our team are you on? Yes, I play Pokemon Go. I'm kind of ashamed. I kind of tried to stop lately because I used up way too much data playing it and had to pay for overdraft data. So I'm kind of trying to chill on it a little. But in case you were wondering, I am on the blue team. I'm gonna check what level I'm on and I'll see if there's any Pokemon nearby because I'm kind of curious now. I haven't played this in like two weeks. This is so bad. Look what you guys are doing to me. <laughs> Pokemon takes way too long to load. This is not cool. It's probably just my phone. My phone is awful. I am on level 11. I thought I was on like 15, but apparently I'm not that good. If you play Pokemon, comment down below what team and level you are on and see if you're better than me because you probably are. <laughs> do you like blue alpacas? Because I do. I don't know what a blue alpaca is. Is that like a thing or is that just a joke? Wait. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. <gasps> Do you see this? You probably can't see it in the camera. Maybe I'll put like a picture there if my editing is gonna be good. <gasps> yes, I like blue alpacas. That, <laughs> that's so cute. What was your first ever fear? Okay, my first fear was of my window curtains. So where I lived when I was little, my bed was against the wall and there was a window on that same wall. When I was laying in bed, that meant I was looking at the side of the window curtain. And this curtain, 
wrinkled in such a way that it looked like a face. I referred to this as Window Man and it terrified me. I could not sleep because of this face. Most kids are like, I was scared of spiders. I was scared of the dark. Like, uh, 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 uh. no, I was scared of my window curtain. Which toe is longer, your first or second one? My first toe is longer because I'm normal. I'm not, but that's fine. I would show you, but I don't want to end up on one of those foot fetish websites. Do you guys know what I'm talking about or do I sound crazy? Have you seen the videos of YouTubers reacting to their feet on these websites? People like screenshot YouTubers feet and upload them to this website and people will rate your feet. It really freaks me out. I don't get what's up with that. I don't get how feet are attractive at all. I think feet are disgusting. Like, what is your biggest goal on YouTube? My biggest goal on YouTube is 100,000 subscribers. I think I've said that a bunch of times. That would be really, really cool, but a goal like for myself, I guess, is to be more creative on YouTube and be myself. I have a bunch of hair on my face. Sorry, I just like wiped my face. And I don't wanna fall into that trap where I'm making videos only for views only for money, only for subscribers. Because you can see right through that, honestly, when someone isn't being genuine on YouTube. What is the 10th picture on your camera roll? Let's find out. I have 5,000 pictures, so this is a process, honestly. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I might have quit Spanish two years ago, but my skills are still on point. My 10th picture is a selfie I took of myself in my closet. That's actually really sad. I set up a tripod and a light and took my own selfie. This was on January 18th, 2015. I'm cooler now. That's questionable, actually, but I don't know. It's not a bad picture. I just, like, zoomed in on my face a lot. Not bad, not bad. My camera's gonna die, I need to hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't, but the guy who posted this comment seems kind of cute. Maybe I should date him. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you play an instrument? Once again, the answer is no. No. <laughs> I actually know the person who left that comment from band, but no, I don't play an instrument, no. <laughs> I mean, now I do. <laughs> okay guys, if you know what this is, um, comment down below because I guarantee you, you will all get it wrong. What do you feel is the most important quality to have as a friend? You need to be trustworthy. If I tell you something personal, I do not want you going and spreading it around to other people. And I shouldn't have to tell a friend, hey, don't tell anyone this, because they should respect me enough to know that they shouldn't go spreading around rumors about me. I've experienced a lot of fake friends in the past, and pretty much all of them have been not very trustworthy. So that's like a key sign of a true friend. I cannot deal with fake friends, friends who talk about you like, eh? I'm really lucky to have some really great friends in my life who don't do things like that, so it's good. Anyway, that is it for the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, cause you're great. I have been thinking about starting a vlog channel for the past couple weeks because I've been watching a bunch of vlogs. If you would like me to start a vlog channel, comment down below and just let me know because I want to make sure you guys will actually watch. I've been trying to do a little more stuff on Snapchat so you can check out that if you would like to in the meantime, but I feel like a vlog channel will be so much more personal and cool. I kind of just want another channel where I can be completely myself. I don't have to do my makeup and hair for a video. I know I don't have to anyway, it's just something I like to do to be a little more put together in my videos. I want to show you the other side of my life which is just me being me and I feel like a vlog channel will be really good for that. Anyway let me know what you thought of this Q&A or if I should make more because I like making them a lot. Hopefully I will see all of you in my next video. <laughs> Bye!